details. I, I mean, this is really the hope, right? When you're looking at that, and we all get excited when we see that kind of exploration, but this is really supposed to forge uh, even further China's ambitions in space, right? Oh, absolutely. And they have very big ambitions to eventually have a manned space station in 2022. But today, what happened was very significant. It was 4.30 a.m. this morning when China successfully launched the Chang'e 5 um, robotic spacecraft, its mission to bring back um, these rock samples from the moon. It has been 40 years since the Americans and the Soviets brought back samples for analysis. So if China succeeds with this, it will only be the third nation to do so. Now, the Chang'e 5 mission is named after Chang'e, the legendary famous Chinese goddess of the moon. It has two objectives. One objective is to gain scientific knowledge because it's through the sampling and the analysis that scientists will be able to gain a greater understanding about the history and the origins of the moon. But there's also another objective, and that's to gain engineering expertise, because it's through that process of sampling, collecting, and returning those samples to Earth that China will be able to gain this technical engineering know-how to further advance its space dreams. Now, this entire mission is scheduled to take about 23 days. Um, those rock samples and the lunar surface material samples will return in a capsule due to land in China's Inner Mongolia sometime in mid-December. And before the launch, the media got to hear from the spokesman of the Chang'e 5 mission, and he addressed the challenge ahead. Compared to the circumlunar and moon landing explorations that we managed to implement, the biggest challenge of the sampling mission, I believe, is the work of moonscape sampling, moonscape takeoff, rendezvous, and docking of the lunar orbit, as well as the high-speed re-entry to the Earth. These parts are the biggest challenges that we care about. Now, when Pei Jiayu was asked the question on whether China plans to put astronauts on the moon, he gave the following answer. He said any further lunar exploration should be carried out by a combination of man and machine. Back to you, Paula. Going to be interesting to watch over the next few years and decades. Christy, thanks so much. Really appreciate it.